expansion of the game internationally? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I love it. Um, I've been to go down to Australia, but I heard there's a NFL game maybe next year mm -hmm. going down there. So hopefully, hopefully something can work out that way. But. Mm -hmm. Uh, how's the the new special teams coach uh, Jay been for you? Yeah, he's awesome. Um, he um, gives us a good insight into punting, kicking, snapping, uh, which is unique as not a lot of coaches come from a special teams background. Uh, he's got a lot of uh, experience, years doing it, Eastern Michigan, Minnesota, Oklahoma, and now he's here. So taking his knowledge and putting it with my own knowledge and putting it all together and. We're getting some great outcomes on the field so far. Mm -hmm. What's been the process for learning uh, Graham and what he wants out of his, his holding? Um, it's pretty similar with all kickers. It's just mainly just how much they want the ball tilted, um, how they like it, how they want my body positioned. Um, nothing's really changed. It's all very similar. You've got to get the ball down. He's got to kick it. We've got to get a good snap from Neil, which is always happening. But um, it's just mainly just feeling it and getting that little chemistry going between all three of us again. You've been hanging out with him off the field. I know you, you knew Will pretty well you yeah. know, in the last three years, just getting to know Graham too. Yeah, yeah, so we've been hanging out hanging out off the field. We all we all pretty much hang out off the field quite a bit, so that's where we get our, our real friendship. Like We have friendship through football, but we have more. It's more than football at the end of the day. Has he shown kind of consistency-wise why he was the Groza winner last year? Yeah, yeah, definitely. He, um, even when it's like a not his best ball, he'll call it his B ball. You just you can see it's always going through. So he's always had a little reliability of being able to see the ball and knowing where it's going every single time, and it's not going to spray off left or right every time, which is nice. What's the longest kick he's made in practice? Um, I don't know yet. We haven't really put him put him back that far. He, I'd have to say maybe 55. Yeah. So he he's got the distance, so which is good. This is your last year, but you come in with, you know, first team all SEC preseason. Just what are your own goals in terms of what you want to accomplish this year? Um, I want it all. So mm -hmm. I want to, like, obviously, I want to win the Ray guy. I want to win the SEC, uh, SEC all first team, all American, all that. Uh, but none of it really matters if the team doesn't do well. So mm -hmm. either way, if the team does well, they probably won't see me out on the field. So I probably won't get all those awards. But um, I'd rather win games and get individual accolades at the end of the day. Where did you think you improved the most last year to take that big step? Um, just hang time. Hang time and just distance, just all around improvement, just from first year, second year, third year, just always jumped up. And even this year, I could see it jumping again. So I'm excited to see how that all comes onto the plan on Saturday night and for the rest of the season. Where do you think those numbers can jump to? What do you think your kind of potential is this year? Uh, I mean, I could see myself jumping 48 or whatever it was last year was it's pretty high, but I can see myself getting up to mid to low 50s. So depending on obviously depending on field position and all that. So uh, with Neyland getting awarded uh, a scholarship, coach told us about that. What what has he been like as a teammate to you and everything? Uh, he's been the best. So obviously we came in at the same time, both going into our last year together, um, and just like sort of me coming from Australia, not knowing anything about football, didn't know anything about long snapping knew little about punting. Um, he's really made it a really easy transition for me. So I'm always in debt to him with that. And um, just, yeah, really excited to see what he can do this year and continue our friendship on and off the field, so. Thanks, James.